I'm Sophia and I'm the coding captain. Yeah, so I'm Sabrina and I'm the co-captain of the team as well as the electronics captain. So I'm Anya and I'm the mechanical captain of Pimble Pride. My name is Ashley and on the team I'm a part of the mechanical section, I guess. So I'm the manufacturing captain for this season. We work on strategy, so at Southern Cross Regionals we were both in charge of strategizing with the teams on our alliance and um, in hopes of optimizing our robots performance, yeah. We usually start off like on kickoff day. We all get together and brainstorm like what we want our robot to do. On day one of build season, we all sit down together, we read the game manual and watch the game video, and we make a list of what we want to achieve in the season and what we want to achieve in the game. This season, we wanted to handle both cubes and cones effectively and score them in all three levels. We wanted to make a robot that could do everything on the field. I think um, one of the hardest things for coders specifically was um, the fact that we overcomplicated basically everything that we coded. Um, but after brainstorming what we want to do on the field, we then start looking into robot design. And then um, the captains start delegating roles and then we start delegating who gets to work on which subsystem. Um, after that, it's just a series of rapid prototyping, testing those ideas before we truly decide what sort of path we want to go down in terms of the mechanical subsystems. My name is Azaf Becker, I'm the robotics coordinator and my role is to run um, senior school robotics here at Pimble. We started with only 8 students and nowadays we teach robotics to more than 400 students. There are 3 days of competition, so on practice day the students have the opportunity to test the robot with other robots on the field as well. On Saturday we have the qualification matches and on Sunday we have the final qualification matches followed by online selection and that's where you decide who you're going to be playing with until the end of the competition and then you play the playoffs and if you reach the finals you win, you are the winner of the competition. In terms of qualification matches, you're ranked based on how many matches you've won and how many ranking points you get from each of them and at Southern Cross Regionals we were, you know, um, ranking pretty high. We ranked second, there were 37 teams uh, we won nine matches out of 11 qualification matches. By the end of the qualification matches, so we did get that opportunity to, um, I guess, get picked by the first alliance. a safe strategy, making us and Barker playing attack, while Robo Rebels, our other partner, play defense, um, ensuring that other teams have been lowered in their scoring ability and us still being stable in a scores of 100 and plus. The thing about being in an intense uh, competition environment means that a lot of external factors can be very distracting and it can make you lose focus and therefore sometimes the things that we might pick up here in the workshop we might not be able to pick up during the competition. To be honest it's very stressful. Uh, the students work for months on the robot and we usually play around 35 minutes on the field. Taking a robot to the field knowing it's not going to be able to perform can be very frustrating. A few matches before the final we did notice that the Altic encoder was acting up and after like our match before like the finals we noticed that the outtake wasn't working as it should be. So that's why it's so important that after every match that we do test the robot. Um, it was an encoder, uh, encoder, encoder cable, cable yeah. encoder cable on our intake so um, that eventually burnt off and broke right before our finals yeah. which is a stressful moment for the entire team especially the pit team. At first my heart <laughs> wouldn't stop screaming but when I was on the job, that's all I could focus on and I put my entire focus on getting everything fixed. 
I can be a bit pessimistic sometimes. However, like I know for a fact that when I know how to solve the issue and I can like jump into it, I'll do it straight away. We're trying to fix that up while we're trying to communicate for strategy that we're making sure we're making have a plan B in our strategy games and still trying to achieve for the highest. We actually only had 20 minutes before the finals. Everyone working together, it made it less nerve wracking and it affected us less than it would have done without. Teamwork makes the machine work. Yeah. Our team's motto, so. In that moment of stress, right before the finals, you know, we all communicated so well together. We need to make sure that we are calm so the entire team is up onto schedule and trying to fix a problem logically at the time rather than stressing over the emotions right before the finals. Yeah. That we handle um, challenges right before finals and um, emotional challenges in a logical way. final matches they're played as a best of three so our alliance we were alliance one we had to win at least two matches to win the entire competition and winning that first final I remember looking up at the screen and it says red alliance wins and that's it was such a great feeling but also in your mind you're thinking okay we've got to do that one more time before we actually win like let's not celebrate too fast The last match was really, everyone was on the edge of their seats pretty much. While I was waiting, I was looking at the field with all of the robots on the field and the elements were all scored. And I remember thinking like, ooh, this looks really close. Green said Red Alliance and the entire stadium pretty much like erupted into like chaos. It could have gone either way honestly with like the fouls so it was really good. I walked over to the other side of the field where all my teammates were and I started to feel the tears <laughs> and suddenly all the tears were streaming down my face. <laughs> I did cry because um, there was a lot of like build up over the season and a lot of hard work and this moment was like just one match like wrapped up our whole season and the hours of work I put in so it was a really good moment to see for our team. Through winning the finals and through being the you know winning alliance uh, along with Barker Redbacks and with Robo Rebels, we now get the opportunity to compete in the uh, FRC World Championships. In Houston. In Houston, Houston, Houston Texas. Texas. Yeah. So we'll get to go and compete with 600 other teams and hopefully we'll compete well. It's like nerve wracking, but I think we can do it. Whatever result that we end with, I think it's really the experience of playing at Houston with yeah. the top teams in the world that really counts. Um, not just for the competition and the matches on the field, but for the connections and the relationships that we can develop with other teams all across the world. There's so much to learn at Champs and I'm just so excited. Girls, I couldn't be more proud of you. You've done an amazing job and I can't wait to see you guys in action in Houston. Ready for takeoff.
international. <laughs>